across the country are struggling to hire substitute teachers, yet another issue made worse by the pandemic. Since the school year began, on an average day, roughly 26 to 29 percent of substitute jobs go unfilled. At Fairfax County Public Schools, where there are around 180,000 students, they put out a call for more substitutes to join their ranks. Here's Annie Yu to give us a closer look. Morning, breakfast. Enormous, enormous need. Day in and day out, we have unfilled uh, vacancies here at our school, a, a number of them. Some days, you know, just one or two, some days five or seven. Jamie Shanetta, the, the principal at Fort Belvoir Elementary School, says it's always a juggle of what to do when they don't have the bodies to support their students. Oftentimes, we will have to pull someone from another assigned duty to to watch that class, which means that other assignment isn't being taken care of. Sometimes the children we have to in the in the grade level, um, we have to split a classroom and we have to add more children to other classrooms. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. The dire substitute shortage is forcing many teachers to make additional sacrifices. Yeah, I think this is the first year where it's actually kind of you have to prep and really think, can I take this day to go take my kids to their doctor, to the dentist? Elizabeth Roten, who's been teaching for more than 16 years, appreciates anyone willing to support the school system and is doing everything she can to make the subbing experience easier. All the assignments that we need, I list where things are just in case, extra plans, names of teachers around us, names of students that you know we can always rely on to give you the answer and to help you out and show you where things are. I think everything but a key is what I can leave with them. Yeah, go ahead and put it up in the bin and go ahead and read quietly. Uh, Ashley yes, Salas, yep. a military spouse and mom of two, jumped at the chance to Did sub for Mrs. Quietly. Roten's fourth grade class and is now one Thank of the go. county's substitutes. I'm a photographer. Um, but that's evenings and weekends. And so during the day when my kids are in school and my husband's at work, I was like, what can I do? My brother and his wife are both teachers and I saw what the pandemic did to teachers and to schools and what people need and they need help. I've done library and art. You just come in like for a uh, library. I got to read to the kids, check out books. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Every morning they did the pledge, the dolphin promise, which I think the dolphin promise is awesome. It teaches kids so much more, so much about like how to be a, a good human and show kindness. So I think that's super important to have compassion, to have patience, um, and to, to be willing to just keep trying because not every day is going to be easy. You're going to have some trials, but you got to just pick back up and just keep going. You need any help? Are you okay, Kaylee? Good job. And that was our Annie U reporting right now in Fairfax County. There are 3,111 active subs, which is currently able to staff 65 to 70 percent of the need each day. So there's still a big gap. The hourly rate can range from 15 to 21 bucks, but the district says it's looking to possibly raise that by another $2. That option will be discussed at the next school board meeting on October 21st.